music is such a integral part of so many places and cultures and people. Music is a part of almost everyone's life, almost every day in some way or another, whether they're just consuming it, whether they just hear it when they run at the store, or whether they're making it. My name is Matt Lewis, and I am a worship leader and elementary music teacher I'm at a local public school here in Houston, Texas, I'm trying to be as faithful as a Catholic as I can be. I have a family, I have a son, I'm a lovely wife, and another on the way. My journey with music and my faith has been, they didn't start off at the same point but they've very much kind of gone into the same path. Time to grow up. Time to grow old. And time to grow in ways I've never known. I fell in love with music when I was like 11, when I started learning how to play my first instrument. I always say that that was kind of my first love. And then when I was in high school, I think that God kind of found me in my love of music, uh, specifically through worship. You are my potential and my greatest success. He took my love of music and, and my passion for it and really started to guide me in a way that would use that gift that I have to lead others to Christ, to lead myself closer to Him as well. Well, um, I started writing music probably within a year, once I kind of knew the basics, you know, how to read music on a staff and such. Um, I started composing melodies, no words at all, just notes, uh, using a, a computer program. I would literally just kind of play around with it. I learned a lot about music through that, like theory and things like that. And then as I learned more on my instrument and in the classes I was taking at school, uh, they kind of developed together. And then I think really songwriting started for me when I started learning guitar um, and piano, which I'm self-taught. You know, I would kind of pluck things out, you know, songs that I like to hear and or songs that I like to listen to. And I would look up guitar tabs every once in a while. But truly, I would just kind of noodle around on my own and play around with chords and different things like that. Down into the deepest corners of my heart Your mercy reaches without cause Finding harmony in every word you breathe Veins are carrying your song Cause your song will rise Like the ocean tide Pouring out like blood and water From your pierced side We'll be dancing on the grave To the rhythm of the waves Singing songs like symphonies That glorify your name Oh, your song will rise Oh, your song will rise I guess I tend to write music that is just kind of life experiences, uh, personal things that have happened in my life, or I've written songs just about reflecting on things that I'm feeling, you know, based on what's happening in the world, et cetera, things like that. Once I started getting into worship music, I think the two kind of came together and I started writing my own songs. You know, I'm a cradle Catholic, grew up Catholic, but I didn't really get into my faith until high school. Like a lot of people, I had kind of an encounter with God and with, with Christ um, at a conference, at a youth conference that I went to. For whatever reason, in that moment, it just really hit me 
And I felt the presence of God at that conference. We were in adoration at the time. I guess in a way that was kind of my conversion point. From then on, you know, I would go to that conference every year and like most people would kind of be like this, Jesus high, you know, but then you kind of go back to normal life, whatever. I think that putting my faith and music together is what has helped me sustain my life as a faithful Catholic. God really found me through that passion of music. It helped me realize my purpose. You know, what can I do with the gift that I've been given? Whenever they're only thinking of themselves When they can't share the shoes or eyes of anyone else and when things aren't adding up in the words they choose to say, forgive them anyway. I think that a lot of music that we use in worship settings can sometimes fall flat when it comes to being personally relatable. I think one of the biggest aspects um, to living an authentic life, an authentic Catholic life, is understanding the purpose of suffering and the hardships that life throws our way. And so just bringing a relatability in that aspect of being authentic and real um, is what I try to focus on in my music, with still giving a message of hope, but also telling it how it is. Whenever they accuse you with agenda, but in reality, you're only being kind. And your honest and authentic self may lead them to betray, but be kind anyway. To find success, you can't aim to always please. So if you find success, you'll probably make some enemies. And some friends will stay and others will leave along the way. Go and find it anyway. Worship music and music of the church really taught me how to pray, how to play in a way to lead others. I took that experience and those skills that I developed through worship music helped me continue to develop my songwriting. When things are not up in the words they choose to say This is where I do most of my writing. Uh, this room is pretty Simply set up, I guess, um, my songwriting process, my songwriting set is pretty easy. I don't have a lot of bells and whistles um, and a lot of um, just extra stuff. I'm a, I'm a purist, I guess. The hard part comes from finding the right words that, not super specific or super detailed, but they kind of just plant a seed and provoke thought among a listener uh, to then, you know, find their own relatable experience in that song, spark some kind of inspiration on their own to take action on something in their life or whatever. And I think God uses other experiences in your life and other memories that might pop back into your head to help you finish things like that. I think that is the spirit, certainly, 
kind of taking control at that moment and helping to convey a message that God wants to convey versus myself. I see being a musician as being necessary to bringing Christ to the world because it's a way to attract others through the beauty of the music that I'm making or that any Christian songwriter is making. The ideas that we can express or that we try to express in our songs and the messages that we're conveying that or what can attract people to the church and to the Christian life because you know they might bring hope and they might bring a sense of unity or a sense of communi uh, communion um, with maybe people that they don't know, people they do know. Um, music is such a, an integral part of our humanity. Going back thousands of years, music has been a huge part of cultures everywhere, and still is, of course, today. And I feel like almost everyone connects to music in some way, whether they're just a music consumer and they appreciate music and they're kind of interacting with music or they're actually creating it. It's a gateway into who they are uh, as far as what the kind of music they like and, and what they can take from music. The songs that I write, a lot of them come from a place of self-reflection and just processing life events and emotions. Time to grow up Time to grow old And time to grow in ways I've never known You'll teach me so much About so many things About myself, your mother, our limits and extremes Like a thousand empty picture frames Waiting to be filled I am waiting Waiting on some memories I fill my head with thoughts and dreams of you And the life I hope you build Here's to waiting Waiting on some memory. A coworker heard one of my uh, more recent songs, A Thousand Empty Picture Frames. And he knew that I was writing, or he knew that I was going to be releasing it soon. You know, him and I are really good friends. And uh, that song is about parenthood. The cleanest of slates and the freshest of stars. For me, of course, being a dad, just being a parent in general, and he's got kids too, and he listened to it, and like it, it totally like touched him. Like he was in tears when he heard it the first time because it was just such a a raw reflection of becoming a father, which is where I came from when I wrote it. About so many things. I feel like the music that I write is able to reach people that are similar to him in the sense that. This is an experience that lots of people go through. Everybody experiences, I guess, in a one way or another. And being able to convey that in a realistic way, but also just uh, is relatable. You are my potential And my greatest success You may see me at my Although I'm very happy when it touches other people or other people really enjoy it or, you know, it conveys a message to them of some kind, I think, honestly, I, I've really done a lot of it for myself.
I see music as a service to the church in terms of bringing beauty. When songwriters and musicians come together and create music that is a reflection of the Christian life, hopefully attracts people to that Christian life. I've been a musician for over 20 years, two thirds of my life. I have many favorite moments, of course, of things that I've been involved with, but the easiest way to say my favorite moment is simply the joy that I get when I'm playing with other people. And the sense of communion uh, that I get when either I'm playing with a worship band or if I'm leading worship and you know whoever I'm, I'm leading is singing these songs and I can just back away from the microphone and let them pour themselves out in praise. You all have your own individual parts and you're putting them all together and what you create is something greater, you know, than the sum of its parts. Um, and there are very few things in the world that I think can do that. I think that everybody has a purpose. And I think that finding that purpose should be one of our first goals, um, especially people newly converted, just growing up. You know, that's definitely something that you want to realize, that you want to try to realize. Uh, but everyone's going to end up serving in a different way. And um, I feel very fortunate to have realized my gifts and the things that God has given to me uh, very early on in the sense of my passion for music and um, also my, my skill. hopes and dreams for my music are short-term and long-term really just to keep making authentic music myself, you know, music that comes from my own personal experience and just whatever I'm processing. And I hope that I can come off authentically to others when they listen to it. And that can hopefully plant a seed of to keep going or, you know, to not feel alone or some sense of hope um, in their own life. My expectation for my music, I think, is for people to hear it and to give themselves permission to be authentic with themselves, with each other and the people around them, and then ultimately just to be authentic with their, with God in their prayer life. Like a thousand empty picture frames Waiting to be filled I am waiting Waiting on some memory I fill my head with thoughts and dreams of you And the life I hope you build Here's to waiting Waiting on some memory Are you searching for purpose of life? Discover your true identity. Stay tuned to Shalom World.